All right, let's put the other needle on. Maybe I should make another video threading the machine. Would you guys like to see that? Not this machine, but the machine that most people have, which is, uh, you know, the Mitsubishi style single needle or the Atlas or Texo. I think they're all pretty similar. You can thread one of those for you. Here's what I like to do. I like to put the thread in the needle first and then I can kind of control it, make sure it's perpendicular. And then I can pull it up also and tighten it. Should be good now. Let's just test it out. All right, we're good. Now, when depending on how you're gonna construct a shoe, if you're gonna last the liner first and then last the upper you would have to stitch only up to here with this up and then put it back down and finish the rest, depending on how you're gonna uh, construct a shoe. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just, do the liner. We're gonna we're gonna last it twice. We're gonna last the liner first, then put in the reinforcements, and then last the uppers. All right. So I gotta make sure I'm not getting the liner underneath. And I'm only gonna go up to here. I'm gonna put the liner down, flip the liner down, and finish. Try and back tack in the same holes here. Sometimes with a double needle, you can actually try and, uh, when you're at tight turns like this, you can try and put the needle in the, the, the uh, inside needle in the same hole so you can kind of pivot around it. Let's pause for a commercial timeout. Okay, sorry. This part is actually easier with the single needle turning. Making these tight turns is actually better if you have a single needle, I think. So I only want to go up to where uh, this black liner starts going inward, where that cut is I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna back tack and just up to there all right
All right, guys, so I'm done with that step. Next step, uh, I'm not sure what it is on the pattern, but we have to cut this off and punch the holes. All right, on to our next step, which is overlay 15. It's this one here, the dreaded toe stitch. This is one of the more visible ones, so. All right, here's another thing, guys. My, my patterns are not gonna, this is the wrong side, by the way. My patterns are not gonna line up perfectly in a two-dimensional plane. For example, if you line it up here, you see? It's not supposed to, it's not meant to line up perfectly. I did this on purpose so that when we are done stitching, it's gonna be in the shape of like a baseball cap. All right? And that is so that it makes it easier to last later. And by the way, the laser, I like the way the holes fin are finished with the laser, so but it does get real dirty, so good and bad things about the laser. So anyways, let's uh, put some tape around here and we're gonna make sure we tape this and I'll show you how I do that right now. This one's a little bit tricky because we have to kind of form it a little bit. It starts going three-dimensional. Secure your tape. And skip, I use the canvas backing, so it's gonna look pretty white underneath the holes. So that's good. Okay. So first thing I do is I'm gonna start on this end. Remember, we're trying to cover up the lines, barely cover up the lines, all right? So this side is good right there. Now I'm gonna do this side. See how I'm just getting rid of that blue. Now, now you're gonna hold it up off the table. Don't try to do this on a table, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna try and line up that, there should be a mark here that kind of Went away, but you can line it up here and I'm gonna start pushing in underneath with your fingers just to kind of guide it so it lays right on that blue registration mark there. So there we go. All right, this toe is ready to stitch. See how it's not gonna lay flat? All right, here's another Tuesday tip. This one comes directly from Leon Guanajuato via Aaron. Aaron or Aaron's my pattern guy. He's uh, He taught me this little tip here. So depending on what material you have, it might stretch when you last. And this, this area here gets pulled a lot when lasting around the toe. So if you put a couple of strips of reinforcement tape down here, and here, before you stitch it on, you have that extra um, protection there that doesn't stretch. All right, so before you stitch it on, before doing this next stitch, put a couple of pieces of tape in. They don't have to be that long, they can just stop here. But... And it will keep your shape, your patterns, your shape more kind of uh, where they're supposed to be, a true shape. All right, so I'm gonna do this for this one and then we'll go start stitching.
front and as you can see the thread catches a reinforcement tape and there will be no more stretching all right or at least stretching where it should be all right guys so here we go step number the heck we have 16 is a butterfly stitch on the tongue all right so you guys remember the butterfly stitch this goes here so we're gonna stitch it here then flip it and get fancy with the extra stitch all right let's go do that if it helps you guys can use some of these paper clips here you know make sure you're lining up that notch there So you can put glue down. You can glue this edge and that edge if you want. I don't really need it anymore, but if you do, that's fine. So my reinforcement tape. Just because I am a professional. All right, so if you want, you could actually just leave it like that and it would be fine, but we're about to get fancy. Um, yeah, so if you wanted, I mean, this looks perfectly fine like that. Off-roading a little. That's okay. All right. So once we're done with this, I'm gonna give it another. Give it another pounding. I'm gonna just make sure this lays as flat as possible after this. All right. So there you go. A little touch. overlay 17 so that means this will be overlaid here and so far we don't have a right and left because these are exactly the same unless you're doing a Travis that has the little side tab here other than that they're, they'll be identical so you don't have to worry about that yet so let's put some tape on here
Hey guys, thank you for watching part four. I noticed that only 49% of you are actually subscribed, so make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you. See you guys next week.